Welcome back to Scott and Wonders. Well, hello. Have we day. haven't done one of these? Braided, so that's because they're really hard to get hold of. Huh? Well, quite expensive to order online. It's not they? that, it's the it's the postage. So you pay £9, you've got to, I think you've got to buy eight, seven or eight mm. to get it free. Right. Which is probably good as a, like a birthday or Christmas treat, isn't it, really? Yeah. Um, but we found a shop. Well, we were over in Southampton yesterday yeah. and there's a, a little Nisa shop out there that does, they do, they do torp kegs, they do perfect draft kegs. Lots of They craft actually kegs. sell... They actually sell, they sell the compact version of no this way. on the shelf. Wow. Loads of craft beer. So the Nice from Southampton, it's in Romsey, yeah. is superb. While I was there, picked up a few bits and pieces. Dragon soup, um, which you wonder is absolutely terrified yeah, of. Because I've been having palpitations lately, and I don't think that's a good uh, idea for me to try, to be fair. And um, yeah, uh, it's a machine I haven't used a great deal, uh, mainly because of the cost of the things. So well, I actually yeah. quite like it. And How much was that, Scott? So that was, I think it was a tenner. That's good. They are about a tenner though, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so what I thought we'd do is we'd do a comparison video. Wonder. Yeah. Heineken in the top. Heineken in the top. 5% and bottle of Heineken. Yeah. 5% as well. To see the difference. To see if there's any difference between the two. Um, okay. This has been in the fridge overnight. You um, like this machine, don't you? I quite like it. It's, it's just um, getting older days, really. But now we can quirky. pop over to that shop maybe once a month yeah, or something. Yeah, they, they had all, loads of them in there. So um, I wouldn't mind the dark fruit one. What what he does... And compare that so, one. I think, uh, I think it's Tanjeev, his name is. Yeah. Um, really nice chap. Um, I think what he does is, to compensate for the price, he puts a pound on each of the tour. And do you know what? Yeah. I think that's pretty. I think that's pretty. Yeah, sound. so because it is about that's probably about ten or nine. Yeah, or eight or nine quid. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, open the top up, shove it in here. Yeah. We'll cut away because obviously I've just turned the machine on, so it's still going to be um, it's still going to be red. And yeah. then what we'll do is we'll come back. You won't further than that because I've got my nails. Yeah, I think we've got to take a sun lounge back. It's got a button missing, but I didn't get my receipt. Fucking one, it's got a button missing. Oh, does that come off? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've got, got the there. line. Line comes in, which is really good. Do you take the whole thing? No, 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 no. Oh, you can do. It won't matter. So just take off what you did. Um, oh, there you go. We'll keep it on because it looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you can see it in there. Ooh. Whack that into it. Clicks. Oh, it's getting really cold already. Pop in. And what a beautiful day it is. Lovely. In there. You should film Feed the top. It. Can't be wrong. People know how to load them. Okay. Down. And shut. Ooh. Done. And that's it. Uh, still red. How easy is that? Yeah, it's a piece of piss. Even a even a, a one ball like me can do that. And me. And Wanda. Wanda, <laughs> Wanda the one ball. Um, so we'll do. We'll let that chill down to green. Yeah. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll pull them out. Have a look. On a beautiful day like this. Beautiful. Before your massive thing later. Yes, yeah, so I don't. I don't, don't know when this is going to be out, but um, no point telling you really. If you either watched it or not, but we're live with um, Chris and Dave later. Well, um, you are. well I am. It's a boys um, thing. Boys thing. So, um, yeah, we'll be back when it's green. Boys only. See you in a bit. <laughs> right, we're back. Uh, it's actually a short time later, 24 hours. <laughs> short time later. Yeah, short time later. So, yeah, um, we left it to rest overnight. Overnight. Uh, so it's now definitely green. Over. And what we'll see is we'll see, I've got two sim same glasses. Sam Miguel, but they'll do. I don't care. Um, and... Oh, I've got one too. Yeah, so you go and you open the bottle. Oh, me? You do the bottle. And uh, yeah, we'll have a look at the um, the bottle first. Okay, which one is it going in? Into that one, that's fine. Are we comparing it? Yeah, yeah we're going to do a bit of compare. So, A, hey, um, we're going to do on look, go compare, golden pear. Are we putting the whole lot in? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, get as much as you can in. Um, we'll just have a look at the the clarity of the beer, the colour of the beer, the head on the beer, the smell of the beer, and the taste of the beer. Okay, and we'll see. I haven't poured it, so this has been sat now for 24 hours. Light's green, mm -hmm. so we're good to go. Just going to drain a tiny bit off. I can bring a glass in, so I need a glass. Oh yeah, you've got a, a little bit. How is everyone today on this bank holiday? Love, it's beautiful, the weather. It's been so nice all weekend, been lucky. Yep. Yes. Ow. That's only painful. Oh yeah, conk my knuckle. So yeah, we'll get a, just a tiny bit through. Just to wet the line out. And then we'll go for a a full glass. Ooh, this looks interesting. It's so cool, this machine. Though. I even like it. I wouldn't mind the dark fruit one in there. Yeah, we'll have a look. We'll get that. There is a difference in colour. Mm. Mm. I think that one looks a bit more dark. 
colour in colour. So. That looks more refreshing. You hold yours up one day, I'll hold mine up. Mine looks more orange. Yours looks darker. Very, um. I don't know. Yours looks darker now. If you look in the camera. Yours actually looks darker. Yeah, sorry. Mine's slightly darker. Yeah. And I'd say. Just hold that one for me. Yours is, looks colder though. Well, obviously, because it's been in the thing, isn't it? Both pin sharp. I'd say actually this one. No, this is more yellow. Yeah. More golden colour. Yeah, and there's, there is a slight haze to this. Yeah, very, that's probably why. very slight, but it, it might, might be chill haze. This one. Might be chill haze. Um, so, Wanda, yeah. go for a nose first. Uh, also, before we go any further, mm. head. Mm. I'd say this head looks a lot nicer than that head. Um, I don't think you can see the head. Does it, does it matter about the heads? No, but it just, it just it it make, it make, it make, it makes a beer look nicer. To be fair, I poured this one first. Yep. So it's, took, um, it's had more time to... Settle in. Yeah, whereas yours is yep. starting to settle now. Okay, so there's not so, a massive difference. Not much different, except for the colour. On the colour. But your glass is all, where it's so cold. Yeah, uh, yes, two ways. Yeah. Right, go on then, Wanda. Go for the nose. Smells refreshing, actually. Okay. Have we had Heineken? Yeah. What, on the YouTube? Yeah. Have we? Did it with the beer, the lager Did I say I'd be quite happy, have we, with lemonade? Heineken is by far, I think this is the, in the, also in the talk, it's the Dutch version. I'm not sure this is. They're both 5%. Okay. It smells quite refreshing. It smells like a lager. This one is the Dutch version. Definitely well. a lager, everybody. What's lager smell of anyway? Pine? No, no, you, you, no, you generally sort of malty, um, sort of lemon, citrus, uh, barley malt. It smells lemony. Okay. Um, I think. I don't really know. I work at, it's just lager smell. Okay. What's a lager smell? Yeah, it, 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 that's what you're going to get from a lager. Right, yeah, it one. just reminds me of a lager. I've not really looked into the depth of flavour. So, yeah, you're getting that smell. barley malt. There is citrus, lemon. Unusually, it hasn't skunked, so it's it's okay. It smells quite refreshing. For it a smells hot day, okay. I'd have it with lemonade. Right, go on that one. I can't smell anything. Right, very it, subtle. That's more stronger in smell. Okay. You'll see what I mean. Okay. That's got more aroma to it. Completely agree. Very subtle. Very very subtle. Yeah, let's smell the difference. Very, very. This is strange. I thought it'd be the other way round. I'm going that maybe the mouthfeel is going to be a lot better, but we'll, we'll get there. Um, still, get, you're still getting that bar, very sort of barley malt, um, citrus uh, flavours and aroma, but it is certainly from the torp, yeah. definitely more subdued. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. We're going to find out. See, we can see what it tastes like in a minute. Okay. Go on and go for the taste. definitely have that as a shandy with lemonade lemonade okay and this one it's quite refreshing on a hot day like today wow well, it's a bit stronger in taste more so so there is a clear difference yeah okay which is weird because the aroma aroma is definitely more the aroma aromatic that, yeah you'd think that would be stronger in taste yeah and actually it's like Instead of the aroma, it's more in the taste than the aroma. Okay. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah. And much colder. And this it's thing does keep nice. it really nice, really nice cold. So this is the bottle. That Wanda, tastes better than that As Wanda said, the, um, the, the Which aromas. Which is weird, isn't it, when it's the same drink? It does make a difference how it's stored, what it's put into. These are... And pasteurized cakes, I believe. But it's mad how, like, if it's put in, we should have done a can as well. Yeah, should have done. Good <laughs> think of that. Yeah, because um, it just makes difference in the taste and that. But it's weird because the bottle makes it smell a lot stronger. Well, these, the the, the, these cakes are, they are nice. Mm. I've got to be honest. They're, they're probably, I mean, it's £10 for the, you get three points, mm. three and a bit points out of these cakes. So they're not cheap. Um, that one's okay. For a ten of those, no, no, right? no, that one's okay. So you're getting the, the barley malt, you're getting the, the, the citrusy flavours, 
a tiny bit of hot bitterness on the back end it's pleasant and in the sunshine drinkable the thing is you'd it's pay delicious. that much in the pub anyway so yeah yeah but um, it's at home instead quite hard, quite highly carbonated as well that one whereas whatever we'll we'll in the way in the middle instant different mouthfeel it's it's, it's it's colder for a cream it's like almost creamier um colder i, I just think it's colder but you can taste the difference straight away flavors jump more yeah you so get that barley you get the the citrus and you get that very pronounced hot tingle at the end the thing is you're going to prefer more flavor than the smell aren't you you don't drink a smell do you no, I don't know, you do sometimes. I've got to say, I've got to say on a hot day. That's going to be lovely. That in there is really nice. I'd add lemonade though. Yeah, yeah, or a top, lager top. I, I quite enjoy that, be refreshing in the hot sun. I'm, I'm, Not I'm, too much, obviously, in the hot sun, because you'll be poorly. I'm quite surprised at how mm. pronounced the difference is. I know it's we not. did it with um, Punk IPA. Yeah. <clears throat> and the Punk IPA top mm. was... Of fucking light it's years. weird because the smell and the look looks <clears throat> more appealing with this, mm -hmm. but when you taste them both, that tastes so much better. I don't know if it's gonna, it gonna see looks it. It's different slightly. I don't know, it could be the different lighting that's coming in through the shed, maybe. But I mean, definitely, at the beginning, look different. Definitely, chill, there's different chill haze on there, but it's a lovely looking beer, very clean, very yeah. clear. Look at it coming from the bus. It's nucleated, it's the nucleated glasses as well, so that's going to help with the yeah, um, look at it, guys. streamline. Really cool, um, yeah. 9 99 I think it's 8 99 for the keg off of Beowulf. Off, yeah, but then um, you've got to pay I'd for the it up locally. delivery um, on top of that. But if you're going to pick yourself up eight kegs of that so you get your delivery free, I think it's worth it. I don't yeah. think um, I'd be all over that. Um, for the summer, sat in the garden. That's, there's, I, I can't fault that. Mm. I think it's really, really nice. Uh, Wanda, yeah. um, thumbs up, thumbs down for the bottle. I'd still drink that with lemonade. Okay. Um, but I prefer that one. I think of the commercially available macro beers, Heineken pisses all, all the rest of anyway. It's cheap as well, isn't it? Yeah, um, that is a thumbs up for me. Um, the mouthfeel is so much better than the, the bottle. Should have got a can. Um, as well but um yeah um if you've had both of these let's know what you think of them in the comments um because we were interested mm -hmm. um thumb up the video if you like it don't thumb we've done one of these for ages have we no i, I do like my have little you got another one no i didn't pick one up you only put one up yeah oh we'll have to do another because uh, i want one cider yeah, we'll the dark fruits okay we'll put the we'll put mm -hmm. the dark fruits up and if you want to see anything on there then just let us know yeah. and um have a good rest of the um the day yeah and we'll see you soon bye everybody <laughs> Thank you.